Reconstructing Visual Dictionaries of Signing Avatars aids sign language learning and is an essential step to provide the deaf community with equitable access to technology and online media. Here, we focus on the challenging problem of estimating a 3D avatar from sign language video. Due to difficult hand occlusions and motion blur caused by the fast hand movements typical of sign language, general pose estimation methods such as Pixie, Frank Mocap, PyMath X, and OSX fail to produce sign reconstructions that are comprehensible to signers. By leveraging linguistic rules of sign language, we develop novel priors that help disambiguate hand poses in sign language videos. Where existing methods fail to reconstruct intelligible signs, Signify succeeds. Even though Signify is designed to work on single-view isolated signs, it can be easily extended to multiple views and sentences. The rest of this video presents the method and the results. Here, we show the sign for doll in American Sign Language. Given an input video, our extension of Simplify X to Sign Language Video, Simplify SL, generates a signing avatar with reasonable arm motion. However, the pose of the fingers is not accurately captured due to motion blur from fast hand motions. As a result, even capturing simple one-handed signs is challenging. Another common source of error is self-occlusion. To address these problems, we present Signify, a method to capture fine-grained hand pose, facial expression, and upper body movement from monocular sign language videos. Our key insight is to incorporate linguistic information into the optimization problem. We build on universal linguistic rules from sign language literature to group signs into eight classes. We then introduce hand pose constraints on these classes. Our constraints exploit hand pose symmetry and hand pose invariance of the dominant and non-dominant hands. By reconstructing one frame of the sign friend from class 1A, we illustrate how we upgrade the baseline method Simplify SL to create Signify. The hand poses are reconstructed very differently. The signer's left hand is correctly reconstructed, but the right is not. Signify applies a symmetry constraint for sign classes where the two hands have the same pose, such as class 1A. This term penalizes differences in pose between the left and right hands. However, when the two poses are reconstructed very differently, symmetry alone can't solve the reconstruction problem. We address these issues with our second constraint, hand pose invariance. Our invariance constraint penalizes differences between an automatically detected reference hand pose and the per-frame estimated hand pose. Signify also applies the hand pose invariance prior to the left hand. By leveraging these linguistic constraints, Signify is able to accurately reconstruct both hands. To work automatically, Signify needs to know the class of the sign. We fit a simple decision tree that takes 2D and 3D pose features and produces a sign group label. We found that our interpretable model was able to generalize much better to new data sets than traditional convolutional methods. To quantitatively evaluate Signify, we collected a video data set of 57 isolated signs paired with ground truth mocap meshes. We compare Signify with state-of-the-art methods for expressive body pose estimation. We report the mean vertex-to-vertex -vertex error in millimeters over the entire upper body and each of the hands. Overall, Signify achieves lower reconstruction errors than state-of-the-art. To evaluate whether our reconstructed signs are comprehensible to people, we conduct an online perceptual study with proficient signers. We compare Signify's perceptual quality with that of the original In the Wild input videos, PyMathX, and our baseline method, Simplify SL. Each participant types the sign they believe the avatar or the real human is signing. They then rate how easy it was to recognize the sign. Finally, they rate how natural the articulation seems. 
Signify achieves a high user sign recognition rate of 86.2% that does not differ statistically from the 90.9% .9 recognition rate of the input video and is significantly better than the other methods. If multi-view video is available, Signify is easily extended to multiple inputs and it produces even higher quality results. If a sentence is provided as input, Signify applies the state-of-the-art method in sign segmentation to first divide the sentence into its isolated signs in order to process them individually. Since the linguistic constraints are universal, Signify works on all sign languages. Examples from the South African and Polish sign languages are shown here. Our dataset and code are available for research purposes. Thank you for watching.